Hello and welcome. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how you can create a way to track a user's activity in your Power App. So you can see I have a screen that has four buttons, human resources, desktop support, sales, and admin. I also have screens for each of those. I'm already connected to a SharePoint list called TBL Activity. It contains the username, activity date, activity time, screen name, and button press. So if I go back to the main screen and I click Human Resources in the On Select property, I need to create a variable. So I'm going to use the set keyword. The variable is going to be called human resources. And I'm doing a patch on the SharePoint list. And these are the values that I'm going to put inside of each column in the SharePoint list. And then I'm going to navigate to the HR screen after it's saved in the SharePoint list. So we play, we press the human resources button, takes us to the human resources screen. If I go to my SharePoint list, do a refresh, you'll see that it captured the information in my SharePoint list. Now we can set up the same thing for all the other buttons. So if I wanted a button for desktop support that tracks when they go to the desktop support screen, Select a button on select property. I just change these from human resources to desktop support. And if we play and press the desktop support button, it will send us to the desktop support screen. And go to the SharePoint list and refresh. And it shows that I went to the desktop support screen. Let's set up the other buttons. It's for sales. This is for admin.
and press the sales button, takes us to the sales screen. And press the admin button, it takes us to the admin screen. And we can see what screens we went to. If you enjoyed this content, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you in the next video.